the spot. Whenever you're ready. All praises to the Most High. Once again, another day. Waking up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Israel. Time is of essence. Right? Scripture says to gird up your loanings. Gird up the mind of your the loanings of your mind. Right? You need a you need a, a pinpoint sharpshooter focus in these last days because things is coming, getting out of control, man. From Rashallah, it's supposed to get out of control too. Alright. All right. So we this is what we do, man. We talk about the last days. That's what it is. Can't get around it. Right? The Israelites are moving into the position that the Lord is ushering them into. Alright? The government of the Lord is near and is at hand. Alright, give me a Give me Matthews 24, verse 14. Let's start real, real quick. All right? Because the gospel being preached. See, what we didn't realize is the book of Daniel, chapter 12, lets us know that the knowledge was sealed up. The knowledge of the word was sealed up until the last days man right the knowledge of the word was sealed up until the last days how you doing sis oh uh, praise you know you're an israelite according to the bible all right the knowledge the knowledge of the of the word of the lord was sealed all right in the book of daniel chapter 12 verse 4. So that lets you know, since the knowledge of the word been sealed for all this this time, and knowledge is going to increase in the last days, that means we should investigate on a spiritual and biblical level, and a historical level. That's what that's time. That's the time we in right right now, right? And time is far spent. Matter of fact, you know we at the end of this thing, and that's what we just believe in in faith, man. By faith, Moses was Moses refused to be called the, the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Man, we do things by faith. We believe that the destruction of our enemies all over these 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 uh, uh these lands, kingdoms, and empires will be an utter destruction before our eyes, man. That's what we believe, man. And and the and the full deliverance of the children of Israel, man. Because we're scattered and we everywhere. You know? And we barely, some of us barely making it, others doing well, while others, you know, whatever condition we in, man, it's time, it's high time to wake up. Because when this gospel is preached, the Bible says the end will come. Give me that. This is, the, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 13. But he shall endure until the end. The same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. So he says, we shall endure to the end, and thou shalt be saved. And then it goes further and says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached. Right? And they coincide with each other, man. Endurance, gospel of the kingdom. Endurance, gospel of the kingdom. Endurance, got Hey, it coincides with each other, man. Read that over. Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then the end shall come. As a witness to all nations. Hey, hey, the world is witnessing right now the children of Israel being raised up on all four corners. Right? More so in different uh in, 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 in different places. You know what I'm saying? 
like Babylon, we more so awoke and yelling and are, are, are crying out against the abominations of Babylon, right? But you got you got brothers and sisters all over, man. Wherever, wherever our feet dwell, as, as, as the scripture said with, with, with Joshua, he said, wherever your feet led, wherever your feet treads, there you shall possess, right? And, and, and we are still in these same lands that the feet of our ancestors, if you look at this uh, slave ship, the feet of our ancestors, you know what I'm saying, dwells even all the way back then, all the way up to today, right? Now, the, the true deliverance, right? Hey, church folks always want to talk about deliverance, man. What is the true deliverance, man? Please ask me that. What is the true deliverance for the people, man? Give me, give me a, uh, give me a Isaiah 50, 52 and go to verse 3. Now we, what is the true deliverance, man? You got all, you got, you got, you got, you got a thousand churches on one block and they all speak in deliverance, right? They all saying pray for this nation, man. We ain't praying for this nation, man. You know what I'm saying? Pray for our presidents. We ain't praying for our presidents. We ain't doing none of that stuff, man. And if you're doing that in these last days, man, you don't know what's going on. Right. You praying for a nation to be rehealed so they can get the strength back to beat you across your head again. <laughs> hey, man, that don't make no sense, man. That's mental illness to the highest level, it's time to repent, man. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 52, verse three. For thus saith the Lord, you shall have sold yourselves for not. You have sold yourselves for nothing. Now, is he talking about everybody? We're gonna find out pretty soon. Go on, matter of fact, read verse one. Cause we gotta find out, is he talking to every, did everybody sold themselves? Cause you'll, you'll, you'll hear a lot of people say, well, you know, yeah, we sold ourselves, you know. Uh, uh, when we when we said and, you know, on, on, on our personal relationship with the Father, man, is he, talking, is he talking about that or is he talking about a specific people? We're going to find out, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, everybody yelling for deliverance. Everybody's yelling for the rapture. But nobody's yelling for the deliverance of the Israelites, man. Right something to think about. Read. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 52, verse 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Israel. O who? O Israel, put on thy be beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. <coughs> For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised. The uncircumcised will not be in thee anymore, man. We will not we will, we will not go through that that uh, Deuteronomy of uh, Deuteronomy 28 43 no more man where the Bible says that the strangers within you shall get up very high and you shall come down very and we ain't gonna be dealing with that no more man the uncircumcised means those who do not have a covenant with the father through the son right read and the unclean Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Sit down, O Jerusalem. So you got Babylon, where the scripture says, matter of fact, give me that uh, uh, Isaiah 45, uh, 47. Babylon, the Bible says in, in the last days, sit on the ground, sit on the dust. You have no throne, right? But then you hear that scripture, it just said, shake the dust off, awake, awake, shake the dust off, okay, and sit on the throne. What, what is this throne? That's the throne that, it, that Isaiah 52 is talking about is the throne of world rulership for the Israelites. All right, so we're going we're gonna to check this thing out, man. Very important. Read. 47, 47 verse 4. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, 
O virgin daughter of Babylon. I said, come here, this work. What? Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone. So, so basically he's saying sit on the ground, sit on the dust, right? That dust is confusion. And that's the confusion that, that, that America sent out to all the nations, man. That's the dust. The dust is confusion. Babylon means confusion. So all, all the confusion that, that, that America has sent throughout the four corners, four winds of this earth, is coming back as, as, as uh, uh, Muhammad, or not Muhammad, but uh, Malcolm X said, the, 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 the chickens is coming back to roost, man. And that's what you see in these last days, man. Utter chaos all over the earth and it's being sent back to this place, man. You know what I'm saying? They got a, they got a massive border crisis, man. Everybody from every nation is, is crossing the border to get to this place, man. They made it to look, they made America look like the safe haven for the world. When, when, yeah, and it's judgment. When, when, when they the ones that destroyed your nation and, and raised up tyrants to keep y'all to, to, to keep y'all sub, subdued and, and subjugated, man. That's okay, you can walk there. Keep fine. That's all good, bro. To keep y'all subdued and, and subjugated, man. Over there in Mexico right now, you got the Hispanic Mafia killing thousands of, of, of women, young women up, up over there, man. And, 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 and the uh, Mafia that they talking about is called the Knight Templar uh, Mafia. The mafia of the uh, of Knight Templars, but we know that Knight Templars is these is these is these uh, uh they ain't Edomites. You know what I'm saying? The Crusaders and them. So you gotta find the hidden hand behind all these agendas that's going on all across these different nations, man. Everybody, if you look on a wise on a wide scale, you see that every nation is going through something right now. You know what I'm saying? America pulled out of Iraq, then what happened? All chaos, all hell broke loose. Right? And hey, you think that they instig you think that it they didn't instigate that whole thing? Of course they did, man. And now all those that was working for America when they was in that land, hoping they hoping they can get a pass to get over here, man. Because they've been colonizing the mind. Afghanistan, that's right. So, you go down to Hades, look what happened in Hades. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, utter chaos to, to, to the Levites over there, man. Because the Levites in the Bible was the most rebellious when it comes to, 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 to uh, uh, fighting against all these heathen nations, man. The Levites always fought against the, the, the wickedness, man, every, every generation. And now you look at him. They assassinated the president, the uh, a Cuban, a Cuban Cuban uh, missionaries. But then they find out that one of those Cuban uh, missionaries was attached to the CIA. Man, they made a sign to expose the hidden hand behind all these agendas. Read. Take the millstone and grind mill. Uncover thy locks. Make bear the leg. Make bear the leg, right? Those are the prophets that's going to start breaking these scriptures down and dissecting our enemy. Breaking the millstone, prime mill. What that mean? You're going to work. You're doing heavy research so you can understand how this enemy is, man. That's right. That's grinding up the millstone, uncovering the locks, right? And then the rest, the most high doing. Because now, after all that's been prophesied, now all that's coming to, uh, to pass and it's being manifested before all eyes can see. That's right. And now everybody's seeing who this man is and who this woman is and who this system is about, man. Trying to wake up, man. Roosters is coming back to roost, man. Read. I'm covering the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. Thy shame shall be seen. 
That's Esau Edom if you read Obadiah chapter 1 verse verse uh, 2. Right? Give me that real quick. He says his his uh shame will be seen, right, amongst all the heathens. The heathens is going to start getting mad at this 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 uh nation. Matter of fact, I just read or I heard a report that they sent in all different type of uh uh different foreigners to America who is not for America, but they come in as citizens, right? Spying out the land, waiting for that, for that, for that, uh, 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 for that new world order agenda to take effect, and then they're gonna play their part in it. I mean, you gotta believe this stuff, man. You know why you can believe it now? Cause now it's dead in your face, man. Right. Right. You can't deny it now. You can deny it all day, back then, but now we emerge into a high time, man. Dangerous time. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. He said Esau Edom is greatly despised. You hear that? <laughs> greatly despised. That means nobody at the end of this thing, nobody will like you. Everybody right. will figure it out. Oh, man, you stole everything. Right. Everybody got a rock. Right? Everybody got robbed. We can prove that. Keep going down to uh, three, uh, four, five, and six. Yeah, yeah, you go, start. This is Obadiah chapter 1, verse 3. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee. Right. He's a proud man. That's right. We see that today. We see that today, right? Because. Look what America did. Look what the American military did. They drew back and left them people on stuck after they didn't help them on all levels, man. <laughs> yeah. They didn't help them on all levels for years. We talk about years. They allowed them to come into their land, subjugate, set up McDonald's over there, set up a whole beautiful American system over there, man, just to pull back. Hey, they had them hanging on the on the plane. It was falling off the plane and all that stuff, man. They was clinging to the plane just to just to get out of out of Iraq, man. Look how wicked the U.S. military is, man. After all, it's like the same treaty they made with the with the natives, man. With the Gadites, man. So you got to know your 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 your, your open enemy, man. Because if you don't understand your open enemy, then you might fall into the same trap, right? Read. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Who shall bring me down to the? That's the same pride. Yeah. That's the same pride we're looking at, man. Who's gonna bring me down to the to, to, to the ground? That's what they say. You hear that in the media, you hear that in the news, you hear that everywhere, man. You hear that everywhere, man. It's time to wake up. Understand our public enemy, man. Number one. Read. Though thou exalt thyself as the ego, and thou and though thou set thyself thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. If thieves came to thee and robbers by night, how art thou cut off? If thieves came to thee and robbers by night, how was thy cut off? Would would they not have stolen till they had enough? See what he's saying is, and he and he's saying it. Uh, this is a, a rhetorical question. He's saying, man, when thieves go into your house and robs and rob your house, they got enough decency to leave some stuff. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to E, sleazy E, he don't leave nothing behind. 
he'll make sure he'll come back. You know, most people they leave the scene because they, you know, once it, once the scene is 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 is, is uh is, is is already uh you know once the crime is, is is already committed, you don't go back, man. But see, with E, he don't do that. He'll bring some more goons, come over here and take some more, man. Make sure ain't nothing left. That's the whole identity of this man. That's why we talk about this man a lot, man. This man need to be broken down. He got to break his back in the spirit. All right, go back to that, uh, go back to, uh, uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 40. Uh, yeah. Judgment is here. He can't, he can't run from it. Don't be fooled because, you, you know, you can go out and have a picnic and play a little basketball and stuff. That the judgments of the Lord ain't here, man. Don't be deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. 